Well, I am down here visiting in Florida, visiting my parents and, ooh, gosh, they're everywhere. I'm on the Mayaka River and one of the things this river is known for is gators. Lots of them and some pretty big ones like this sucker. And while that fella right there is the reason why a lot of people avoid the Mayaka River, it's a lot of it's a big reason why a lot of people come to the Mayaka River because it's such a great place to see gators and lots of them. That's no joke. That's a good sized gator right there. Whoa, look at the size of that one. Oh my goodness. The section of the Mayaka I'm doing today is, um, it's a good sized section. I haven't found too much information uh, about this section. Oh, taking me out, dude. It's about 15 miles, uh, 22 kilometers. Should take it. You know, the better part of the day, especially with all the stops I'm going to be making, checking out the wildlife around here. Hey there, buddy. I don't have a choice. I'm coming through. Thank you. <laughs> That's a big fella. My word. that cute little guy. Oh, and that a big guy over there. My word, there's a lot of gators here. <laughs> well, I just came upon the first other kayaker in this section. And uh, if you're watching this, Robbie, good to meet you. <laughs> um, and he was saying, telling me that, uh, it's, you know, too bad there aren't too many gators out. <laughs> Man, I'm not sure if I want to see this place when there is a lot of gators out because, wow, I'm seeing enough gators for me. Oh, sorry, Mr. Heron. I always feel a little bad when I spook a heron like that. Because, I mean, there's a good chance that that heron has been stalking a fish, a frog, <laughs> something for a long time. And it's just about to get its meal. And then I come along and scare it away. All right, made it to the lake. Lower Miyaka. It's a good sized lake. So I came down here uh, knowing I was gonna paddle. And so, and, and uh, knowing I wanted to do a pretty good trip as well, not just a, a float on the water. I came down with a pack yak. And you've, if you've been watching my channel at all, you've seen me use this boat before it's a 14 foot sea kayak that fits in a, a bag that you can fly with, uh, which is really cool. But the, uh, the Pakiak that I'm using this time is actually, it looks the same, but it's not. It's a special Pakiak and pretty cool actually. They figured out how to knock 10 pounds of plastic out of this boat, which means this boat now weighs in around 50 pounds for a 14 foot touring kayak. That's awesome. I mean, that might not sound like a lot, 10 pounds, but 
it makes a big difference when you're carrying this thing around both in the bag and on your shoulder or however you're carrying it uh, once you've built it it's a really nice development uh, otherwise it's the exact same boat and uh, i've done a full review of this kayak but uh, what i can tell you is since i tested it that first time i've taken this on a number of adventures i took this thing to dominica did some really cool sea kayaking there and then most recently uh, i took it to ireland and did some really northern ireland in fact and did some really cool stuff there which you'll be seeing on this channel very soon as well but i'm developing a greater appreciation for lightweight gear lightweight kayaks in particular these days because the weight of some kayaks really is a barrier to getting people on the water they can't carry the boat around or can't transport or can't get it on top of their vehicle or in their vehicle when it comes to a portable kayak and you know every bit of of weight that you can shave without impacting the kayak's performance or uh, or its uh, integrity then i think it's fantastic and knocking 10 pounds off this good job pakiak i'm a fan <laughs> Oh my gosh, there are a lot of gators here. I was not expecting this many. Very cool. Oh, they're everywhere. Look, I'm all just in the water right there. That's a lot of gators right where I'm going. Wowzers. All right. Gatorville. And they're pretty much across the whole river here. I mean, this is where you just have, have to have faith. As I get closer, they're going to go down. And they're going to provide a nice channel for me to just paddle through. Faith. I have faith. What the hell? It's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Oh, look at that one right on shore. Oh my God, okay. Maybe speed. Speed is my friend. I'm gonna go with that. Speed is my friend. Well, it's one thing to see gators on a shoreline. It's another thing altogether when the gators are all across the water and you have to go through. And as you get, as you approach, they just go down. <laughs> and so you know you're paddling over them. I felt like I was paddling, like with my butt clenched and my sitting up a little higher than normal. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. All right. Feels more like a river now. I wonder if we'll have any current. Wow, is it ever a different feel now? Got some nice mild current helping along with the journey. This is gonna save, save me a couple miles of paddling. I love winding rivers like this too. You never know what's around the next corner. It's this, these ongoing moments of discovery. <laughs> it's so cool. And that's actually one of the reasons I love doing solo adventures like this is it's fun to do it with somebody, but it's also fun to do something 
for the first time alone because it's like a first descent. It doesn't matter how many people have done this section before me. For me, it's a first descent. I don't know what's around the corner. And uh, there's something really cool about that. Woo! Uh, all right then. <laughs> How can you not go under the tree? You can't say no to that. Unless there's a snake on it. Ooh. Actually, it's gonna be kind of tight. <laughs> can't say. Can't say no. Can't say no. <laughs> Any lower, and I'd have to say no. Oh, here is the little weir that I heard about. You're supposed to have to walk around, but it looks looks like I might be able to get through here. Hmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is probably not every water level. I'm sure not every water level. Sweet. Well, I knew I was gonna have that little dam or weir, whatever you wanna call it, to deal with. And I thought I was gonna have to portage around it, but uh, the water level was friendly enough that it had a perfect little gap in there to go through. Little weird entry, definitely something that could flip people very easily. Uh, and, you know, in general, I just ran through that little dam, that, that weir, but it's just not a good idea. I mean, <laughs> dams or low head dams and weirs have killed so many people, even ones that look really chill. Uh, and it's because the man made nature, it's just a creates a perfect hydraulic at the bottom of it at the bottom of them and they anything buoyant just can't escape um, that and a broken down one like that it can have a rebar just sticking out underwater it can just all of a sudden hit your boat flip you but then things you can get hung up on it as a general rule avoid dams and low head dams and weirs like the plague and yeah do what i say not what i do in this case but but honestly that um i can make the call to run that that it's safe to run that because i have 35 years of whitewater experience reading whitewater knowing when i look at the water surface what's going on underneath is it uh, is it safe or not Well, I've got about a mile and a half to go. It's been a good day. What a good mission. I was not expecting this to be as spectacular as it is. And that is the lesson of the day. Once again, you know, the runs that are, can be literally in your backyard can be some of the most magical runs. And this one, is uh was really close to where my folks live and wow i can't believe it's taken me so many years to do it what an awesome run the mayaka river highly recommend it really this is the kind of river you could do in any type of craft uh, sit on top uh sit inside a touring boat i mean it's nice to have some speed this boat was great for this trip a 14 foot touring boat um has good speed. I mean, I can I can cruise when I want to cruise, not to mention the fact that it's portable. So I actually flew down here with it and, and they're gonna fly home with it. Oh my gosh, that was a big gator. <laughs> I don't think that's ever gonna get old for me, but uh, damn. I'm gonna keep going here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you have then you know what to do give a thumbs up subscribe to paddle tv if you haven't already and stay tuned because 
Winter, it's winter time. I'm not doing much content now, but this spring is going to be very busy. Lots of gear reviews, lots of tips, and lots of paddling adventures this year. 